Right Honorable Ken Lusaka, Speaker of the Senate, um, the President of the Supreme Court and our Chief Justice, um, Madam Kome, political leaders who are present here, the leadership of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, I will be very brief. First, uh, it's been two years since we met last at the prayer breakfast. And in the two years, so much has happened. We have had the world and Kenya thrown into a spin because of the corona pandemic livelihoods, businesses, enterprises, people have suffered immensely. And we've suffered in a way that is unprecedented. It's never been that churches have been closed, mosques have been closed, schools, and many other places. And it hasn't been fashionable not to go to work, but to stay at home. But that became our lot. But be that as it may, in fact, if uh, by the words of uh, there is a common Askari who is commanding a, a platoon somewhere in the social media, in our case, and that Askari says, instead of the other two that we had. So much happened, but as things stand today, the Tanga Tanga tours are not there, and the reggae has also stopped. I think we need to listen to what that bishop was telling us. We need to do something together. In that same meeting, the former Prime Minister also said something that was profound. In fact, in a very uncharacteristic manner, he gave us a verse. And he told us about Isaiah 1.18 that says, Come, let us reason together. Maybe again, God is speaking to us and saying, Come, let us reason together. Finally, last night, as I was preparing, villagers came from the village, including some of my relatives, because uh, my daughter got a spouse. She works in foreign affairs, and so she got a foreigner to be a spouse. And so one of the gentlemen from the village was speaking to us, and he said something again though coming from the village, that is very profound. He was telling us about this wedding in the Bible that was in, a, in Canaan. No, not the Canaan that we all know in Kenya, but there was a village called Canaan. Cana. And in this uh, wedding, among the people invited was Mary, Mother of Jesus, uh, Jesus' mother and Jesus himself and others. And of course, in that whole thing, there was trouble and there was shortage. Napia Kiliumana. But because Jesus was there, things were sorted out. And he was telling us that in whatever plan, in whatever agenda, in whatever mission, have God in the equation. 
And I think that is profoundly what, again, we are reminding ourselves this morning. With those many remarks, it's now my duty to request our President, His Excellency Uhuru Magai Kenyatta, to come and make his remarks. Mr. President, sir. Sanchez William, please be seated. Thank you very much. Honorable Speakers, Honorable Chief Justice, all friends who have been invited, members of Parliament, members of our private sector, our friends from abroad who have managed to come and join us today. I have very few words. First and foremost is to take this opportunity to thank our two co-conveners for managing to arrange this prayer session despite the difficulties we are all facing as a country as a result of this COVID pandemic. The prayers are all prayers that are geared to giving us our hope back. And this is really where we all need to be at a time when we are confronted by the worst health pandemic the globe has seen in the last 100 years. And the realization that we need to pull together, to work together, and we need to have hope that it is indeed possible to overcome these challenges if we pull together. I have very little to add to what has been stated so far. I have, we've heard from the health experts, we've heard from our senior, Amos Wako, about the challenges that he has gone through as a result of this pandemic, and the realization of a number of issues and other challenges that still face us. As he talked about the fact that millions are probably unable to access the same standard and quality of health care that he was able to have. And so today, the only message I have to our two speakers, to the leadership of both the Senate and the National Assembly, there are proposals before you, proposals that will ensure that every Kenyan is able to have access to health insurance, because health insurance is the basis of us being able to offer universal health care. Please expedite the passage of these bits of legislation that will allow us to ensure that our people are properly catered for, not just during times of pandemic as we are, but always. And that is the purpose, access to quality health care. I want to thank our motivational speaker today. I don't think there is a word I would remove from what you have said. Mine is only to say, let it not be that we have heard today and tomorrow we have forgotten. Hope is a continuous process. Hope is something that you've got to get and put into your daily life. The things that he has told us. It's how we live every day that matters. Not what we listen to today, and by tomorrow we are back to our normal. So I hope to those who are here, to those who have participated with us virtually, and to all the Kenyans to listen. Nisana.
Okay. Okay. It's not usual to talk. It's not usual to talk His after the president. His Excellency the president. But I just want to take this opportunity, just want to take on, this behalf opportunity on behalf of Parliament. That is the National Assembly, that is and, the the National Assembly and the Senate.